Hi. Hi, welcome to everyone who's joining in. Hi, thank you for joining in. Hi, Ekta. Hi, Manya Bhula. Hi, Ranjisha. Nice to see you. Hi, hi. Hi, so nice to see everyone joining in. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, creative head. Hi, Akriti Jindal. I'll wait for a minute more before I start. I'm just giving time for everybody to join in. Nice to see you too, Rendisha. I am so happy to uh, have you join in the live session. Hello everyone, whoever is joining in, a big hi from me. Hello nibs and tins. Hi, hi painting with jam. Hi. Many a times we just virtually know Instagram handles, so it's nice to see uh, and know each other. I've been uh, painting for a couple of years now and uh, I started with the alcohol ink medium uh, about one and a half years back and I love the fluid medium I love its rich hues and the colors and the textures that it creates I'm in love with the way I'm able to express myself with this medium um, about today's session about today's demo um, it's a very beginner friendly method with absolutely great results and gives you immense creative satisfaction and I think as artists we look for creative satisfaction and I'll show you uh, after you do this and when you give it a try you'll enjoy the results too. Um, so before I begin with the demo session I have two um, things to mention. One. I would request you all to hold on to your comments or queries because I won't be able to juggle both. So after I finish my demo, I'll turn the camera towards my side and uh, then I will read your questions. I don't want your queries to go scroll up and I miss your questions. So once I finish the demo, you can turn on, I'll turn around the camera and then we go about answering your questions to the best of my abilities. And the second announcement is stay tuned till the end uh, because we have a surprise for you, a surprise announcement for you. And I'm very excited to announce the same. So stay tuned till the end of the session. Thank you. I am going to be turning the camera. Uh, so kindly bear with me. Thank you so much. Are you able to see? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can. All right, so.
Okay, I think I, you all can see this, right? Okay. Um, how do I? Uh, how did I come about with the idea of uh, planets or planet art? I stumbled upon these pictures by NASA, and these are pictures of Saturn and Jupiter. And if you see, uh, when I saw these uh, gaseous rings, we know uh, Saturn and Jupiter are gaseous planets. So when I saw these rings, the immediate thing that struck my mind is, oh my God, Nara rounds. And why can't I create the same thing on these rounds and create planets? So I wanted to do the same thing. So I immediately sat down to give it a try and man, I was happy. I was, I was ecstatic to try it. Uh, second picture of Jupiter. When I saw, I saw these textures on this. These are gaseous movements. So I wanted to create this texture also in my planet art. So I tried that as well and the results were, I was very happy with the results. So you will see if you like it or not in today's demo. So let's begin. I'm going to be using the colors. Um, silky turmeric. Stormy purple. English horse. and brinjal date. These are the four colors that I'm going to be using. In order to give a, a spherical um, shape, okay, we'll be painting, okay, before I begin, we'll be painting with a brush and the inks only. There's no hair dryer required for this. So um, I will be using the hair dryer to just quicken the process, uh, to hasten the process. So. I'll be pouring the inks directly onto the brush and then starting my painting, okay? So I'll begin with English horse uh, because we see the top and the bottom portion of planets are usually dark because of the way the light hits, the, the sunlight hits the planets. So I'll be starting with English horse. Can you put on some music? In a very low volume. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we'll give it a spherical shape, okay? I'm taking a flat brush because I'm comfortable with a flat brush. If you guys want to take a round, you feel free to use the rounds. A little more tinge of English horse. And there you go. The top of my planet is done. Now, before I take in uh, the next color, I have an option to wash my brush, okay? Or what do I want to do? I want to create a lighter hue of the same. So I'm gonna put in a little IPA on the brush directly because I know it's going to lighten the pigment and give me a very diluted version of the ink. When you start um, doing the second layer, it's important to remember that you start somewhere a little away from the line because uh, those who are new to alcoholings, the inks tend to merge uh, together and they create a third hue or they blend together. So it's important we start from a distance and move again towards vertical shape and we keep moving our brush. The way we move our brush creates the texture of the gaseous look that we saw on the Saturn. Spherical movement, semicircle strokes, okay, and there I have got my lighter hue. All right, now I want to take silky turmeric. So I want to wash my brush before I take silky turmeric because I don't want the brown and the silky turmeric to merge. So I'm washing it, I'm dabbing and cleaning the brush. And taking the silky turmeric directly onto my brush.
again I've left a little gap if you see and now I'll slowly go up to merge I love the bright hue of silky turmeric it's so beautiful and rich very nice so my planet is slowly taking into shape and I want to darken uh, the English horse again I'm not washing if you noticed I'm not washing I'm directly applying the silky turmeric I want to give it a darker hue you yeah now I'm happy I'm going to dry this a bit just to hasten the process wash my brush again and I think I'll again go for English horse I can't get over English horse I think you can choose any color that you want but I'm going to do another layer of English horse again I'm leaving a gap and then I'm starting okay and then I'll go about blending the same again in a semi-circular motion The more IPA, the more textures form. And my strokes are going, giving the gaseous texture on the planet. So the more back and forth I go, the more strokes that I give, it'll be richer looking. Don't worry about these gaps we will cover them with lines later okay so am I happy with this let me just go back and forth a little more till I'm satisfied okay I think I'll leave it at that Now I'll take stormy purple. This is stormy purple. I'll take a generous amount of it. Why do I choose these shades? I want to keep the top light. And as we move towards the center and below, um, whichever photographs that I look at planets, I always find the lower portion a little darker than the top. So I'm going to play with uh, a little darker hues down here. So that's stormy purple. Again, if you noticed, I left a gap because I wanted to keep that light discs. Uh, this actually reminds me of uh, the geography class where we study the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere and the uh, differentiation that we create. The Arctic Circle. Okay, I want the stormy purple to be a little more darker, so I'm going to dry this. And apply a little more ink directly on the brush. Without washing the brush, I'll take in brinjal date. Let's see what view it creates. 
brinjal date is a very vibrant pigment a very bright one so it adds a lot of value and you must be wondering oh my god what a stark difference in the color but wait till i blend the next shade and you will see the hue changing that's all that i'm going to do with a uh, brinjal date okay i'm not going to wash the entire pigment off i'm going to add a little yellow and keep a little symmetry with the yellow color here and i i will not leave the line now i will blend it with brinjal date and look at that shade that's been created now i'll add a little silky turmeric just a little I started with English horse so I'm going to finish with English horse just to bring in a little amount of symmetry direct application of inks here again a spherical shape semicircle movements a little blending will happen with the silky turmeric but it will give you a round okay I'm more comfortable doing it the opposite way so I'm going to use the stroke like this so that I get the circle right now you see there are lines that are formed okay we we will actually accentuate those lines what we'll do is we have a choice to use a color or just the IPA to lift okay I will first show how to lift the pigment what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use a watercolor pen like this. I normally fill it with IPA. Um, fill this into this and then use this brush to lift off. So I'm going to draw a line here just to highlight. And I lift off a little bit. of. So the tendency of IPA is to separate the inks move the inks away so it creates a barrier and I have a nice line formed which highlights with a light tinge okay I can do the same here if you don't want to do this and you want to highlight your planet with a little bit of gold you're free to do that you can use gold metallic gold to highlight I even have planets where I've used gold pens to highlight. So that's a personal choice of the artist, what they want to do, how you want your planets in your universe. Um, I'll show you one stroke with inks. Um, I'm going to use Brinjal uh, or probably, let me see, I'm using English horse again, a little partial to that color. I'm going to create a line here. Let's see how it looks. Uh huh. You can keep reworking with the inks all the alcohol ink artists know that a little bit of ip and a little bit of ink gets everything activated until you seal or varnish so i always can play continue to play 
with the ink still I'm satisfied. I would want to work a little longer on that but just to show you and uh, move ahead I'll go about creating a little bit of textures to show take a little IP after you've washed your brush make sure your brush is absolutely clean drop in a little IPA dab the excess and I think I'll create textures here so what I'm going to do is lightly touch on the yellow. A little goes a long way so I think a little IPA that you take you can actually continue this is an 8 inch diameter Nara round if you take a 6 inch it's much uh, faster do I want to create a texture here yes I might want to so let's see how it will look habit of naming my planets. Let's see what I'm going to name this in my own imaginary world. That's how I'm going to leave that texture. And do I want to accentuate a little bit more? I think I want a line on top as well. I keep reworking on my pieces. It speaks a lot about me. <laughs> so I keep reworking, reworking till I'm happy. have an option to add gold directly so um, you can use the Nara golden bake I've done a planet with that I'll show you after I'm done with this very interesting shine and glimmer so one option is to use the gold directly and as you're applying you have to uh, use the dryer so that the gold doesn't spread or another way is simpler way is to use a pen so I use a, a Posca golden pen and I can just choose to highlight the ring with the gold. This is a very subtle gold so I can choose to highlight with that. I can probably add another line just to camouflage the little spread that happened here and that kind of beautifies it as well. I want to do more mm, probably another line of gold here it looks quite bright on the stormy purple this is stormy purple and the little rim that you see is brinjal date just a little tinge of that brinjal adds so much value to the painting uh, yeah so that's that uh, that's my planet for today very simple and easy to try and I'm sure all of you will give it a try um, I'm going to name this planet Atos what is the time right now it's about 8:23, so I'm going to <laughs> name this planet Atos 0823 how's that 
<laughs> okay, I'll, I'll wait for your comments to come in to know what it is. Um, let me show you some of the work that I've done with planets um, since the time I discovered this uh, beautiful, amazing result of the simple strokes, simple brush strokes. I have continued to make many, many planets and I'll show you some of them, not all. This is one, this is our Atos 0H23. This was a piece that you saw on the Nara post. Uh, here also I've used the same combination but my movement is a little different. If you see uh, the stormy purple is dominant here and I did the texture on the red part or the pink part. Here when I blended it created a red hue and I created the texture. It's a more rocky structure here. So again, it's a choice that you have. Um, I also will show you some other color combinations. This is a lighter version using the blue. Uh, this is satin sea. This is pastel evening and starlit hues. So just using three shades, starlit hues, satin sea and pastel evening and controlling the usage of IPA, continuous brush strokes in a semicircle pattern, this planet was made. Let me show you this one. It's one of my favorites. This is using uh, gold, Nara Golden Bake. It has a nice shiny shimmer to it, you know. It's, it's, it's got a nice shine and glistening. I call it the glistening gold. They have named it Golden Bake. I call it the, I call it the glistening gold. And it adds a nice shimmer to it. Uh, here also I have used Starlit Hues, Golden Bake. So these three layers are pure Golden Bake, English Horse. And uh, this is a blend of Starlit Hues and a little bit of brown. Which gives it a smoky black feel to the planet. Yeah, so that's, that's how... Uh, the planet demo is and I finally come to the end of the demonstration. Now I will turn the camera towards my side and make the announcement that I'm so eager to make. So give me a minute, kindly bear with me please. see me all right now I can see a couple of comments um, right uh, I can see someone's answering on my behalf I hope you all is this live going to be saved yes it is going to be saved uh, so you can see the work later as well um, I hope you guys enjoyed the demo uh, let me make the announcement i'm too excited to say it so we having uh, i won't term this we having a participation event why i call it a participation event it's not a contest or a competition because we are not going to judge your artworks it's a participation event where uh, we would love you to create your own planets and create your own universe post it on your uh, handles instagram handles tag us i'll tell you who to tag and then we'll have one lucky winner which Nara is going to give a giveaway and the lucky winner will get a gift from Nara Papers. Um, in fact, Nara, uh, uh, you know, so I am uh, really looking forward to seeing all your works. Even we all at Nara are happy to see uh, your works. So kindly go ahead and create your own planets. Post it on your handles. Tag Nara Papers, tag Hughes by Ashwati, and use the hashtag Planet Art by Ashwati. And uh, you, if you need to be eligible for the giveaway, all these three tags are important. I'll repeat that again: tag Nara Papers, tag Hughes by Ashwati at the rate Hughes by Ashwati, and use the hashtag Planet Art by Ashwati. 
and once you've tagged and posted your work you'll be eligible for the giveaway we will let the lady luck decide who's going to be the winner so it's going to be a lucky draw because i believe and i think i'm sure nara also believes no art is good or bad it's only art and it's only creativity so feel free to express yourself and post your work we are looking forward to your work um can i look at the questions now okay no i think i'll i'll look here critical thinking with audrey love your artwork and your presentation thank you so much audrey i really appreciate anushri yes it is hashtag planet art by ashwati thank you for that <laughs> Thank you so much, Em. Uh, never loved planets this way before. Thank you so much. Any questions? If anyone has, please feel free to let me know. Is that the water pen that you're using? This question is by um, my port of art. Okay, um, it's a watercolor pen. I'll show you. Yes, uh, normally the watercolor artists use this pen instead of water. I have filled it with IPA. I find this very convenient to lift off certain pigments when I'm working with minute artwork. Uh, or I can directly apply the ink on this for a diluted version of uh, thin lines. Uh, Priyanka Goyal, uh, my Insta handle is at the rate hues by Ashwati. Thank you, Ranjisha. I'm glad you liked it. Crafty jeans, a uh, nice technique. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you also have a question. Can you please repeat the names of the colors in the order that you have used for today's artwork? Well, I would not want you to replicate the exact, but I'll share what colors I used. Um, um, I would want to use your expression, your creativity, and just go about and enjoy the process. Uh, for today's artwork, I used the English horse. I diluted the English horse. This is the second layer. This layer is silky turmeric. Again, repeated by English horse. Stormy purple. Added the brinjal date and without washing my brush with the IPA, I blended it and created this color. Finished it with silky turmeric and then English horse because I just wanted to have a symmetry at top and bottom. I hope that's clear. Please mention the brush brand. Okay, what is the brush brand? I don't remember. I, I picked it up from an art store. So if you're in India, ink brush, any art store has this. Uh, whoever keeps the watercolor supplies has the watercolor brush. So I don't have the brand mentioned here. Uh, Anu Goyal, where can we find the small needle bottle that you use? That's a precision bottle, which we use for, uh, uh, which I use for, this is, uh, this is something that I can't do without for my art. Uh, I picked it up from Amazon. I bought it from Amazon so you can search for the same precision needle bottle. This is a glue applicator, but you could try on Amazon. Uh, Crafty Jeans, my pleasure. Uh, where in the US can I purchase Nara inks, please? Okay, Nara uh, is soon going to uh, export their inks, but currently you only have Nara papers, uh, which is available on Amazon. We look forward uh, to your work with Nara inks. I hope Nara comes up with the shipping soon uh, my work you like my work thank you so much I'm humbled what should we tell regarding these paints in the shop to buy which paints are you referring to are you talking about the inks uh, you can order Nara inks um, you're on Instagram so they uh, you can just DM them on this account that I'm live on you can DM them to purchase or you can log into www.narasyntheticpaper.com and you can place your orders for inks, papers, IPA, blending solution, one-stop shop. Um, what is the difference between Nara synthetic and Upo papers? Oh, there is a big difference. Both the papers are good. Uh, I wouldn't say they are not. But the biggest advantage that I like about Nara is, of course, the texture is definitely good, but they are so forgiving. I can just erase the work. Uh, I can apply the IPA, wipe off the paper clean. So I've had instances where I have reused Nara papers for at least three to four times, experimented on the same side. I didn't even have to turn the page. So it wipes absolutely clean. So that's that's a big, big advantage from my end. I mean, it means so much to me because I keep making errors. So it's very forgiving. Uh, synthetic sheets for alcohol inks, uh, Priyanka. We use synthetic sheets because they are non-porous. So Nara's alcohol ink papers are all synthetic sheets. 
uh, because they are non-porous, they don't absorb the ink, they let you play with it. What are Petri inks? Priyanka, Petri inks we don't have in Nara, so I won't be able to take that. Uh, Priyanka, Goyal, yeah, any more questions? Thank you so much. Our Nara inks, uh, hi ma'am Leela, I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you so much for joining. Our Nara inks available in ordinary shops? Uh, currently no, you need to order them online. Uh, so I will share with you the link for your convenience. The difference between watercolor and Nara inks is watercolor is obviously water and Nara inks are alcohol inks. Alcohol inks dry fast, okay? They are uh, quick drying because they are alcohol based and they are a completely different medium from watercolors. They are translucent but the usage of hair dryer creates a lot of textures which is very different from watercolors. They're completely two different mediums, no comparison. Uh, Kako Jane, I joined late. Where can I watch the repeat telecast? It will be recorded on the IGTV, so you can go there and see the same. Uh, I love those inks too, Swapna. Will they ship the inks internationally? Yes, they have plans to ship internationally, so they will be soon shipping them, and we look forward to seeing the works from our international artists as well. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you here, Leela Ma'am. Priyanka Goyal, tip for infinity rings, please. Infinity rings. Uh, okay. <laughs> infinity rings, you're talking about the uh, glass, the one that we keep. That's a different technique. I think probably you'll have to watch the demos uh, somewhere on YouTube. It's a completely different technique. I'm not covering it today. Art Yogi, you explained too well. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Any other questions? Any other feedback? I think Nara inks are more good than Beyond inks. What's your opinion? I don't think we are here to say which inks are bad, which inks are good. All companies produce good quality inks. I think it's the artist's personal choice. I like Nara inks. It's a personal choice that I have. Does that mean uh, the other inks are not good? Well, there are other international brands as well. So why compare? All inks are good, if you ask me. It's an artist's choice and my choice is Nara. So that's where we are. The ink colors are so beautiful. Yes, they have a good variety. So yes, you can play with a lot of colors. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that it was a clear demo. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you. Uh, Art Moxie, thank you so much. Ekta, thank you so much. Thank you for joining all the way from Australia. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Any other questions, any other comments? I think I'll take in for the next five more minutes. Will this be saved as IGTV? Yes, it will be saved as IGTV. Yes, it will be. Hi Tammy, I'm so happy to see you here. Uh, thank you so much. Your appreciation means a lot. Thank you. I'm so glad that you joined the live. Thank you so much. So that's it, I think. Do we wait a little more? Your Insta page again, please. Art Moxie, my Insta page is at the rate Hughes by Ashwati. I'll repeat that. It's Hughes by Ashwati. It's all one word. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Granger, to uh, write that. Thank you, Tammy. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, would I be doing more sessions? Um, we're working on that, the formats, but yes. Uh, I am collaborating for a month, so we'll have some sessions coming in, the format we're discussing. Uh, Audrey, thank you so much. Your feedback means a lot. Thank you. Hi, Brindarika. I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you for joining. Means much. Thank you. Thank you, Cham. Thank you, Indian Art Creations. I have two more minutes to go. So if there's anything that you all want to share, ask, seek, please let me know.
Thank you. Lots of love coming in. I'm so oh, touched and happy. Uh, so before I sign off, I'd like to repeat. Uh, Kravska, uh, hello, uh, you've just joined in. I'll just repeat. For the participation event, create these wonderful planets, post it on your page. Tag Nara Papers, tag at the rate used by Ashwati, use the hashtag Planet Art by Ashwati and then uh, post it, you'll be eligible for the giveaway. There'll be a gift from Nara Papers and they'll make the announcement. Lulu Inkart, can't wait for the next live video, how sweet. Thank you so much. I'm surprised nobody is uh, asking what's the giveaway. Wow. Everybody loves the surprise. I am so happy. So let that be a surprise. I let Nara make that announcement. <laughs> Keep it as a surprise element. All right, we have one more minute to go. I think I'll stop at 8.40. Uh, there are a couple of chats on the sites. Let me just check what is that all about. No. Do you have a YouTube channel? Indian Arts Creations, as much as I would love to, I don't have it yet. But yes, I have intentions to create one. So we'll keep you posted. Thank you, my port of art. Appreciate. That's it. I think I'll close at 8.40. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you so much for your support. I hope you had a great session. We look forward to the participation. Don't forget to use the tags and the hashtags. And yes, see you soon with our next art mashup. This is Ashwati signing off. Thank you so much.